begin modeling the sanitary pipes with the parking project. All the information we were given about this project, we can find them in project, parking, and see the Revit's architectural and structural files, as well as the sanitary CAD plans. So now we're going to be using the structural and architectural files and the CAD plans to begin the modeling process. So you're going to have to do the things in this order which I'm going to tell you. First of all, I'm going to open my Revit and then select the template which is the most appropriate one for my work. As in, I will be clicking on New and then Browse, then go through the templates by first going to the English folder because we're working with metric units. But if your plan was an imperial unit, you could just open imperial. So these are the steps of the way. So now I'm going to select the mechanical default metric. And then I'm going to click open. Then make sure project is checked. Then click OK. And wait for my Revit template to load. So the first step was choosing the right template. Now for the next step, uh, we're going to need the architectural plan in front of us so that we can use it when we are modeling. Now, in case you've worked with AutoCAD before and designed something, then you already know that even over there, uh, you will need your arch architectural plan in front of you to model the mechanical items. Same thing goes here. Only difference is that our work in Revit is three-dimensional. So I'm going to go to the Insert tab and then click on Link Revit. Now I'm going to go to where my file is located. I'm going to go through my files here, then to the projects, parking, revit. And now, as you can see, we have architecture and structure plans. So basically, the structural and architectural uh, plans have been designed in two different files. I'm going to go to architecture, then select the project file, which is compatible with the version of my revit, and then click open. So basically, we are putting our architectural files here first. Now we have to wait for the architectural file to be linked. Alright, so we recall having two levels here, level 1 and level 2, which in this template we are using, these level 1 and level 2 could be at different elevations than the elevations of levels 1 and 2 in the structural plan. So then we're going to have to coordinate them. So it's best if we go to one of the elevations first. It makes no difference which one we choose, whether we use the ones for mechanical or the ones in plumbing. There's no difference. Just open one of the elevations. For example, I just selected East Mech, as in I just double clicked on it so that it would open. Now let's zoom in a little. To zoom in, I will roll my uh, scroll wheel of the mouse upwards. Alright, so look here. In this template, we have a level 1, as in the floor of our first level is 0. And we also have a level 2, which is at elevation 4000 millimeters or 4 meters. Now let's zoom out a bit. Now here is where the levels of that linked plan are positioned. Let me zoom in. As you can see, level TOS or top of slab. The structural level is at elevation negative 32 meters. And then the upper level, which would be the ceiling, is at negative 27. Alright, so what we need to do is we have to take these levels which were in the template and coordinate them with the levels which are in the architectural file. In other words, the architectural is prioritized over the template. Now, let me zoom in again. We can see two levels here uh, on top of one another but we can't properly see the name of the other one because their names are also overlapping. So I could just go and change my scale level from 1 100 to a lower scale. For example, I'm going to select 1 5. And now as you can see, the writings have become smaller and I can see them better if I just zoom in. We have a level here called FFL, which is finished floor level. And alongside of that, we have another level called TOS, top of slab. So this is the base level. We would be placing our mechanical items considering the architectural files finished floor level. For example, if we want to draw a pipe 
its elevation from FFL P06 would be at 2 meters, or for example, it could be at elevation negative 50 centimeters. So we're going to have to take the levels which we had in the template and coordinate them with the levels from the architecture file. So in order to coordinate them, we're going to be using the align command. This align command will align and coordinate any item we want with another item we select. Now where can we find it? We have to go to the modify tab, then look through the tools and here it is, align. Now while we are here, try to memorize its shortcut as well. This command is very useful. The shortcut is AL. So we've just selected it. But now what is our base? Here is our base. Let me zoom in a little. There it is. It is FFL P06. Even in the tooltip that just opened, in the second line we can see it says FFL P06. So this is our base. Let's zoom out. And now I want this level 1 I have here to be aligned with that one. Basically we're making the template similar to our files. Now I'm going to zoom in here again. And this time click on FFL P05 which, which would be the ceiling of P06. So I just clicked on it. Now zoom out. And zoom in here again to align this level 2 with that level. So I just took the levels of the template and align them with the levels from the architecture file. I'm just making the template file more similar to the architectural file because the base of our work is the architecture. All right, so once you're done aligning, you could just press the escape key to cancel the command. All right, you see these levels are just infinite horizontal surfaces. So to show them in the plan, I could just use short lines just to indicate what they are. But we still know that these are just two infinite horizontal surfaces. They could go on forever. All right, now to show them, I'm just gonna click on one of them and then zoom in. And now do you see this hollow circle? Just click and hold and drag it. That's how you can reduce or increase their lengths. Now, while my index finger is still holding the left click of the mouse and dragging, at the same time, I could use my middle finger to roll the scroll wheel downwards to zoom out. And then drag even further to increase the length. It's not so necessary to do, because like I said, these level 1 and level 2 are infinite surfaces. But I just chose to make them exactly as long as the levels in the architecture file. After that, I'm going to click on the circle and move it around. Then at the same time, use the middle finger to zoom out. And then I'm going to drag it to the left to make it closer to the levels from the architecture file. I can also rename them. In the template, it's called level 1. So I'll just double click on the name. And instead, type in FFL P06. The same thing as the architecture, then press enter. Now let's go up to the level 2 here. Double click again. And name this one FFL P05. Then enter. Now they're just like the levels from architecture. So I'm trying my best to make the template as similar as possible to the architecture file. And at the first step, we have to align the template's levels with the architecture ones. After we've done that, we're going to go back to our plan. Now I can go to the one plumbing plan. So I'm going to double click on it so that it opens. But you see, now this number 1 has lost its significance. This level, which was at first called level 1, I renamed it to FFL P06. So I can also go to this name over here and right click, then rename, and then instead of this 1, type in P06 then press enter. Same thing for the second one, right click rename, and then I'm going to change this number to uh, P05 enter. Now this is just like what we have in the architecture file. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to draw the sanitary pipes for level P06, which in fact would be the sanitary pipes of the upper level, which will be visible in the ceiling of P06. So I'm going to go on P06 and double click to open the plumbing plan of said level. 
here we are and here we can see the architectural plan which we will be working with. 